Hi there, today I'm going to show you how you can create your own rolling credit scene on Canva. So here are the basic Canva homepage and as you can see they have a selection of templates that you can use but most of them are templates of documents, whiteboard presentations or printable stuff. So for the rolling credit we would want to create a video instead of a presentation or a printable stuff and to do that you can either scroll around like I did right here and you will see there is a video templates that you can click or you can also go ahead and click this video button on top of these templates. Clicking the video buttons on top of the templates are going to allow you to see more templates for videos. To start creating our videos we can go ahead and click this create blank videos button and as you can see it's going to direct us to the video editing sections and this is going to be the blank canvas for our rolling credit video. Let's start by choosing the background colors for our videos. To change the color of your background you can go ahead and click on the small colorful box on the top left of your screen and then you can choose from the variety of the color that they already provide or you can also search the hex code of your color if you know. If you don't like your background to be just a solid color, you can also go ahead and try to search in the video templates for your background. They have multiple selections of category that you can choose. For example, if you choose background, they're going to give you a background that you can use whether it's for your opening video, for your rolling credit, etc. And if you don't find any video you found are suitable for your rolling credit, you can just go ahead and try to type out the templates video that you'd like to search. For example, I'm going to try to search credits video and as you can see, it gives me selections of credit video template that I can use. For the sake of tutorial, I'm going to choose these templates over here. These templates already comes with wordings and several elements. To customize the template, I can just go ahead and click on the elements that I would like to add or remove. It's going to show a purple rectangle, and once the purple rectangle is there, so I can go ahead and click delete on my keyboard to delete the elements that I want to remove. That is how you can input the templates as your background, but today I'm going to show you how to create the ending credit video with just a blank background. To change the color of your background back to solid colors, you can go ahead and click again on the colorful box on top of your video. And again, it's going to show you the selection of colors like the first one I've shown you. For today, I'm going to use black as my base colors. And then to add the text, I can go ahead and click on the text menu on the left side of my screen. And then I'm going to go ahead and type out the credits ending that I want to put. I'd like the wording to have different sizes, so in this video you can see that I am clicking heading for some wordings and I'm going to click a smaller font for another wording. Now I'm going to go ahead and type out the necessary wording for my credit ending off screen. Alright, off screen I have written all of the things I needed for my credit ending and what I did after I write the wordings one by one I click every one of them and then I group them together so that I can move them around all together instead of moving the box one by one and now what we want to do is we're going to adjust the duration of each frame and you can do that either by clicking on the frame and then you're going to see the timer symbol on top of your video and you can go ahead and type out the times that you would want each video to be as for me, I have set my video to have 0 0.5 seconds on each frame. After you set your duration for the frame, you're going to have to move your wordings to the very bottom of your video frame. And then as you create more frame, you're going to slowly move the wordings and reveal it bit by bit. The tricks to create a smooth movement is by moving your wordings a tiny bit at a time so that it's not going to create a jumpy and harsh movement. Next, you will want to add a transition by clicking on between each frame and the transition that you would want to choose for this particular video is the match and move. And then you're going to want to adjust the durations of your transitions. For now, I'm going to choose 0.02 for my transition durations. 
and we can always readjust it later in the future if we feels like it's not smooth enough. All right, and I'm just going to continue and duplicate the page as much as I like until I am done moving my wordings. You can also apply your transitions to every single frame with the exact same setting so that you don't have to repeatedly settings the durations of your transitions by simply click on the transition that you have already created and then you are going to scroll to the very bottom of the menu and click apply between all pages and what it does is that it's going to automatically apply the exact same transitions to every pages that you have created all right here I have finished my videos of screen. I have created a lot of frame. I have also moved the wordings one by one and I wanted to check if my wordings move smoothly enough. And as you can see, it still looks a little bit wonky. I don't like how the wording moved around. So I think I'm going to adjust it. And what I do here is that I'm going to change the durations of my frame. Instead of creating it on 0 0.4, originally 0 0.5, I'm going to make it 0 0.1. And I'm going to try again. And as you can see, the wording moved out way smoother. And now I'm going to show you there is another way for you to see your frames, which is in grid view. And you could just go ahead and click on the bottom of your screen you will see there is this four little rectangle and then you're going to be able to see your frames like this you can also drag around your frames or also you can select and add pages you also can duplicate multiple pages at once by holding shift and then click on the pages that you would want to duplicate and then if you want to edit one of the frame you can just go ahead and double click on the frame that you wanted to edit and Canva is going to direct you to the original page just like how we edit our video in the first time. Now if you want to add some audio or background music to your video, you can go ahead and click on the left side menu on the app sections and then you can just scroll down and then you will see that there is an audio option. So you can go ahead and click that and here you can see a selections of free music that you can use. You can also search the audio if you don't find the one that you like. And you can also take advantage of the filter tool that located on the right side of the search bar. Over there you can take on one of the box of the music that you would like to find. Or you can just type out the kind of music you are looking for. And here I've decided to put a cinematic background music for my video. I'm just going to go ahead and choose one of the available options. To add the music to your video, you can either click on the desired music that you have chosen, or you can also drag the music from the music selection menu to the editing bar. And once you're done, you can go ahead and download your video by clicking on the share button on the right side of your screen. And then you can scroll down to find the download options and then over there you can change the file type that you want to download and click download and here is the final video and that is how you can create a rolling credit video with canva i hope this tutorial is helpful thank you so much for watching and have a great day